Hello YouTubers, it is uh, September 10th, 2013. These are those um, tater buckets that Walmarts are selling that you're supposed to be able to pull them apart and pick them as they're still growing. Well, I didn't, so we're going to see what, what what's happening in them. This one here uh, had plants that has been dying back and it's starting to dry out. That one has um, never produced. It had one stem coming up and that was it. So I'm assuming they're they're rotted in there. But it would be interesting to see what this one. I forgot what the varieties are. Yeah, um, before I post the video if I find what they were. I think it was like red. Um, red potato. Russell potato I think. I can't remember. So we'll see. Why don't we see what I get out of it. We'll start with the one that had uh, no life. And then we'll start with the one, or then do the one with life. Okay. That's it. I can safely say uh, they rot it and they smell. So, let's see what this other one burns. I don't know if you can see that. Nice little slug. Looks like slug eggs. Let's see if I can. Right in there. That's not going to be a good sign.
Okay. Let's see if I can unmount this. So that's it from the second one. A little discouraging, but first one, like I said, um, smelled really bad. The three just rot it. But this one I was hoping for a little more, but we'll see. Well, we still have the blue ones that are in there, and then some blue and some other ones in there, and then I got some in the garden on the other side, so hopefully a, like a late fall, but that'll be my next one, but the plants are still doing pretty good on top, so I think I'll wait before I cut them back to see, I actually, eh, maybe, I don't know, I'll wait a little longer hopefully, and uh, wait for them to die back a little, and uh, the tree that was leaning, I'm still got, I got one stake in the ground right now, Still got it staked up to that one, to the house. So, got a little more upright. I need to get a few more stakes in here. And uh, I got this board holding it on this side, but ground gets soaked, it's gonna go in. So, but it's got a good harvest of uh, peaches. But the problem is, will they survive long enough? See, there's my finger. That's how big the peach is. They're starting to turn. Usually about this time the squirrels already have gotten gotten to them, knocked them all off. But I don't know if it's just, as you can see a lot of it's bare. Some back here, some over there. But a lot of the tree itself has died off. So I don't know, you know, should we be plucking like every other peach off? Let it, give it the uh, nutrition to the other ones? Don't know. Anyway, so that's it for the those, well, I got one more of those buckets to empty, but the plants are still doing good, so we'll see. But I'm not fascinated by those. I may use them again next year, just as, you know, just for planting. Um, but I can't see opening them up and taking out the potato uh, mid-season or whatever, because definitely I didn't get them. Anyway, that's it for the potato harvest, um, part one. Uh, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.